Captain's Log. All right, it's your boy DJ coming at you again with the Razor EXR update. I'm talking fast because I don't have much time. Okay, what I'm going to try to do here is, is I'm attempting to make the Razor EXR by a 40 mile to 45 mile scooter. Not that I'm going to ride it that far. It's just nice to know you have you don't you don't have to have any range anxiety. Okay, what I'm doing is here. Okay, parallel plug right here. Okay, get a parallel plug, three prong parallel plug. Okay, with the XT60 connector, I had to splice it. Blah 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 blah. Let me show you guys. Uh, here's the main battery. It plugs into this end of the XT60 connector, and I have two other ends, but I had to uh, lengthen the, uh, of course, the other ends so I can connect the uh, battery to the controller. These other batteries, they have a the little XT connector too. So I'll have to do a little splicing and dicing, but yeah, I already, I've already run the wires from the controller, from the positive and negative from each wire through the deck. I drilled a couple holes in the very front of the deck, each side, positive negative wires. Same over there, positive negative holes for the wires to come through. And then I'll have to, you know, do some soldering Attach them like that, and I'll have two XT connectors to attach two external batteries. Or, say I don't want to go two external batteries, I can go one external battery. How nice is that? Okay, so, um, uh, it's a very inexpensive mod. Those of you who might want to try it, very inexpensive, so you might want to look into that. What's cool is that... Uh, this scooter is very basic. You got your controller, you got your battery, you got your motor. So this is a good scooter to do a, a, DIY, a DIY project on, like uh, adding an ex external battery to get more range or whatever else, because it didn't have a lot of bells and whistles. It's basically got a power switch on and off and it has a light. That can be a good thing, you know, especially when you want to do uh, add to your electronic arsenal on this scooter or uh, you know, what I mean by that is, you know, you may want to add, uh, have something else running off of, uh, like a voltmeter running off of your battery pack. That way you can see how much uh, energy you are using. I'm looking at doing that because the battery also has this external lead here. Check it out. It's a little wire right here. Info wire, whatever else. I plan on using that. Haven't figured out what for yet, but that it's in the plans. So, okay, guys, that's what I'm looking at. I think, all right, this scooter, I've done two tests. I've got 20 miles each test off the scooter, okay? Uh, and I'm like about 190, between 195, 200 pounds, sometimes 190. My weight fluctuates a little bit. I did a test this past Saturday with a young guy, a friend of mine. He's like 155, 160 pounds. He achieved, uh, well, he did 95% of the drive riding on the scooter. We switched off, I rode it for like maybe three miles, and the scooter still got, uh, the scooter was still able to achieve uh, 20 miles, even with that. So that's pretty good. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Also, these batteries here are inferior to the stock battery, okay? We always all know these are cheap Chinese knockoff uh, lithium ion batteries. They do work, but they're not top-notch and I'm not saying that the Razer EXR battery is top-notch but what I did was I did a test I just connected the the battery the stock battery and I tried it just to make sure it was going to work okay with the controller two of these battery packs through the parallel port and it worked fine but the difference was I could tell in the way the motor was spinning like uh, with the stock with the with the uh, the added batteries, the, the motor wind was more like, Nyeh. and then when I used the stock battery, it was an increase. You can tell by the sound, it was like, Nyeh. so sorry to irritate you with the sound, but that's, that's the difference you could tell. That's how you could tell that these are inferior batteries as compared to what's in the vehicle. So, you know, may have to rip one of these open one day and see what we're really getting, but they're not quality. I would say they're not quality lithium ion cells, but they do work, you know, they do work. But anyway, my objective is to be able to add 
uh, those batteries to the scooter to increase my range and that's what I'm doing so also what else can I tell you uh, yeah so this scooter has so can show consistency on two range tests to get 20 miles okay that's pretty cool what else can I tell you okay if you want to do this mod you'll have to get a three-way parallel again connector three-way parallel connector and then you also have to get uh, what else you'll also have to get uh, you know, some extra wire to extend your XT connectors. So the mine XT, XT connectors are going to be somewhere up here. I'm going to see if I can find a legitimate mount for the battery case because what I'm doing is I'm going to utilize this unused area up here. That's that metal right there. That's going to be my support for the batteries. So that's what I got going on, guys. Uh, this is a very well built scooter. Uh, I'm gonna put it to the test and see what it can do you know now that I'm going to go 40 miles on the scooter it just gives you uh, uh, less range anxiety so to speak and what I do like about the scooter and I don't like about the scooter <laughs> that may sound crazy to say but both it has a solid rear tire I like it because you don't have to worry about any flats and to change the front tire is relatively easy I've done it before easy so the back is a little more complex, although if and when I run this back tire down to nothing, I am going to replace it with an air tire if I can. But it, it, there is a benefit to having the rear, a solid rear tire, I'd have to say. Now, something else I want to throw at you that I'm going to do is I am going to add some cushion, an anti-shock, should I say, to, for my feet under the deck. How am I going to do that? Simply using cardboard. I'm going to get some layers of cardboard. I already had one down there, and it seems to be quite effective. I'm going to add some more cardboard down there. As you guys all know, I'm using a wooden deck to, uh, I'm using a wooden deck to, uh, I'm recording. Using a wooden deck to, uh, I'm using a wooden deck to, for the, on the scooter. And I'm going to be, uh, using some more cardboard. On it instead of using a stock deck, but what you'll have to do, you'll have to get some extended screws because the screws that are uh, come with the scooter are a little bit short. That way, you know, you got you know, you know, add more layers of cardboard, whatever you want to do. But anyway, just want to throw that at you. That's, that's my little anti shock uh, device I've come up with. I thought about just this morning, so yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that way your feet. It's a little easier on your feet. Also, my wooden deck is still working out great. Where is it? I don't see it. Yeah, hang on guys, hang on, hang on. Here it is. Home Depot wood, no cracks, no nothing. I'm working out fine, but like I said, I'm just gonna add some more anti-shock cardboard under the deck. So everything's going good. I should have this mod done sometime tonight. I won't have it done this morning because I gotta go to work, but I wanted to get a Head start on it and see if I can get some of it done. All right. Also, guys, I'll do an update later about the uh, the motor, the uh, hub motor, coolant. That I told. It's called Staterade. I've been telling you guys about. It. I got the Staterade in. Haven't had time to do it. Hopefully, I can do it uh, this weekend, Saturday. So I'll keep you guys updated on that, on the motor. Tim, thing I have to do a whole separate video because that's pretty interesting. We'll see how that works out. But yeah, there you go. So those of you that may want to do what I'm doing, go for it. We'll see what happens. Peace.